Hey everybody, Jittery J here. Hope everybody's having a great day so far. Um, today I am reacting to Louis C.K. and this is jokes that are not for the faint-hearted. That being said, these are just jokes, folks. Please don't take offense. And if you do take offense, make sure it's from your own yard so you don't get in trouble. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. Uh, before we get started, we're going to hit the original video with a like and subscribe. And then we're going to jump right back here and hit this video with a like and subscribe so we don't forget. Let me know in the comments anything you want to see me react to and I will get to that as soon as I can. And then tap the notification bell so you know when I upload more content. Um, I try to upload daily so uh, be on the lookout. Anyway, let's get into this. And I saw a Korean Jesus. They had a Korean Jesus with the... Don't get mad. How else would I know? It's just say what Korean Jesus. Ooh, huh? Whatever. <laughs> whatever. I remember I was in a taxi, I think uh, in New York. We're gonna start like that. Okay. <laughs> whatever. I remember I was in a taxi, I think in New York, and it was the driver was Muslim. And there was a woman crossing in front of us and he honked at her because she went after the light had turned and she gave him the finger. And he said to me, do you know in my country, <laughs> if a woman show you this finger, I could get out, beat her to death. And if I drive by here a week later, she'd still just be laying there. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Damn. Oh, I drive right by a week later, she'd still be there. Shit. That's disrespectful. <laughs> she'd still just be laying there. <laughs> <laughs> like nobody would even clean it up. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. The truth is, Jesus was black, but you don't see that often. Black Jesus. Hey, man, get me the fuck down from here. Whatever. All right. <laughs> An airplane one time, uh -huh. and a married couple came on. I was not expecting that. <laughs> but they got a point. I mean, it was Africa. So, yeah. But I was not expecting that, 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 that little quip he put in there. That was unexpected. <laughs> Airplane one time. And a married couple came on, and uh, they had been sat separately. There was some mistake. The woman, she's supposed to sit here, she comes up to me and she says, Would you mind moving so I can sit with my husband? And he's behind her, he's like... <laughs> <laughs> and I wanted to help him. Well, what am I going to say to his wife? Just, no, I won't move. So I just got off the plane. I didn't go on the trip. <laughs> and it took off, and it hit the World Trade Center. So that was... Oh, I oh, was fucked up. <laughs> that is so wrong. <laughs> and it took off and it hit the World Trade Center. So that was. I, uh, you ever uh, feel like you're going to fart and then instead you shit on your father's face? And, uh, no. And everybody on the bus is like, hey. That's oh, God. Not <laughs> and you're like, I thought it was going to be a fart. And they go, oh, all right, then. <laughs> you had to throw in everybody on the bus. Because <laughs> and they go, oh, all right then. Because <laughs> look, my mom just died. She just died. That's how it works. By the way, for you young people, here's how life goes. Yep. One of your parents is gonna die, and the other one is just never gonna fucking die. <laughs> Uh, and guess what? It's not the one you wanted. <laughs> nope. You know, people hate child molesters so much. They hate them worse than murderers or anybody else. <laughs> right, right, right. So getting caught child molesting is just, that's the end. That's the worst. It's really the end of your life in every way. Your that's friends right. are gone. Whatever you had is gone. <laughs> yeah. Right? So right. Uh, that's why a lot of kids that get molested get killed. Because it's like once you molest, whatever got you to the moment where you molested a kid. Right. Once you hit that moment, you're like, I can't let this kid go now because I'm fucked if this kid goes home and tells anybody. So you kill the kid. Right. 
So the bit was that if we could uh, if we could hate child molesting a little less, <laughs> we, might, some oh, yeah, we might get some kids. Oh, wow, that is a brilliant thought. <laughs> if somebody could that go, is, <laughs> oh <laughs> Jesus! All right, I molest. You know, somebody could call wow. you and go, "Hey, I molested your kid. You want?" To and look at the way things are. I'm, I'm not sure when this was filmed, but look at the way things are now, where they're trying to normalize pedophilia. Uh, yeah, it's just sick and disgusting, is what it is. Uh, oh shit, that shit really gets under my skin. Um, even even Howard Stern show that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> Say to themselves, "All right, I molest." You know, somebody could call wow. you and go, "Hey, I molested your kid. You want him back after soccer? Do you want me to drop him off after this game?" <laughs> Does he have any allergies Jesus. I should know about? I, that what I just said is true. Right. That if we oh, hated Jesus. child molesters less, less children would die. Right. I don't know what to do with that information. <laughs> like, I, you don't know where to go. I don't know what to do with it. I can't you make came any to the right place today. Yeah. yeah, this is the place to air those kinds yeah. of thoughts. You know, yeah. like when you were in school, did you ever have when you were in school when you were a kid, like fantasies about your parents dying so that you'd be really special in school? Like if your parents got killed, you'd go to school and they'd make an announcement, no. Joey's parents died today, so everybody and all the cute girls would come up and go, are you okay? And stuff like that, which would never happen. They just walk up and you go, I'm still not gonna fuck you, you faggot. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucked up. <laughs> still never fuck you. <laughs> I'm not gonna fuck you, you faggot. <laughs> <laughs> That's what would have happened. And that would have even, I would have jerked off to that and had a better time than if I fucked them. <laughs> so to me. Some, some Catholics believe that contraception is murder. They think if you wear a condom, if you stop a sperm from getting to an egg, you killed a possible baby. By that logic, I could say that any woman that won't fuck me is a murderer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna tell you, there's a bunch of murdering bitches out there. Well, FX um, <laughs> uh, took my series off. I don't know why. <laughs> what the fuck? It's so weird. It was really successful, yeah. <laughs> and then they just made an arbitrary decision. That's weird. <laughs> to just, I mean, I was baffled. I yeah. was like, guys, why? We're like, it's just the feeling we yeah. have. <laughs> I was like, that's weird, guys. Probably like, like a so, new CEO. Uh, they always do shit like that. That's yeah. the thing. Yeah. I, I never thought of that. Yeah. Yeah. There wasn't one, but maybe it's something like that. Like 9-11, you had to, in the sorrow and the anger and the and the rage and the sadness, you had to go, dude, fucking bullseye. <laughs> bullseye. <laughs> one of my favorite stories about it was uh, there was a documentary about it on PBS after, and they talked, uh, you know, they tried once before with the, with the truck bomb. So they uh, right. interviewed a... In the basement, it was, if I remember right, the, uh, they tried to take down, was that the World Trade Center too? I believe it was. Because they drove, they, drove, they drove it underneath. With the, it wasn't, I guess it wasn't strong enough to bring the building down. Once but, before with the... With the I remember bomb. hearing about it. So they uh, interviewed a, a marshal, a federal marshal, who mm -hmm. escorted one of the perpetrators of that first bombing to his trial mm. in Manhattan. Mm. And they had him in a helicopter, and they're flying to the courthouse. So he's next to the prisoner. Oh, and they're shit. flying right next to the World Trade Center. My God, this guy. And the, the federal guy, the fed marshal, is just a cop. He says, I pointed at the buildings, and I said, you didn't get him, did you? And the guy just coldly said, we'll get him. Wow. wow. They Damn. did. Those buildings are no longer there. <laughs> yes. <laughs> they no longer, right. no longer there. He's got a point. There's a damn. What's this? Talk about like eat dolphins when they're in the tuna. Pick People talk about like don't eat dolphins when they're in the tuna. Pick out the dolphins, right? <laughs> <laughs> Gotta pick it out like raisins. <laughs> um, but like you ever look at, you ever go to shop for tuna and like it says dolphin safe and you kind of go like, yeah, but like somehow you think it's not gonna be as good. Like, <laughs> I'm gonna do the right thing, but it's 
probably kind of bland without the <laughs> dolphin. But here's the thing, like, why not kill and eat a dolphin? Why not? Oh, because... Well, no, I don't fucking get it. If, it's an animal. If you're a tuna, fuck you, we're eating you. All right. So I don't really see the difference, and I think it's wrong to eat... I think I think it's because it's because of their intelligence, but there's plenty of animals that are intelligent that we hunt and for food, uh, like deer for one. Uh, deer are very intelligent, uh, but uh, yeah, it, it, it's it's an animal, so why wouldn't it be used for food? That's the part I don't get. It's just, uh, it's another fish. So I don't really see the difference, and I think well, it's wrong. It's not a fish, but it's a mammal. I'm going to correct that, because so otherwise somebody in the comments will correct me. It's not a fish. I know that. So I don't really see the difference, and I think it's wrong to eat tuna, and dolphin, and cows, and everything. But I eat them. I eat them all. Because I don't care that it's wrong. Right. I totally think it's terrible, but that's not important to me, that it's terrible. So what if it's wrong? It tastes good. <laughs> and I like the way it feels when I eat it, so fuck it. But I'm not going to pretend I'm doing something that's okay just because it doesn't think or something. So when I think about that, I think, yeah, so people die. What's the big deal? They're dead, and some of them were might have been assholes. You don't know. Where's it going? I just want... What the hell? I lost a complete train of thought with that one. Uh, how did he go from eating dolphins to people dying? And I know he wasn't suggesting that. Uh, <laughs> people die. It's just meat. No. I don't know. <laughs> I just want to say I'm not trying to say that if you're white, you can't complain. Right. I'm just saying that if you're black, you get to complain more. Right, right. Because <laughs> you can't. There you go. No, no, don't tell the band that. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. you can't. You get this right. You can't take people's like historical context away from them. And right. everybody wants this to. Like white people are always like, come on. It wasn't us. Like, they want black people to forget everything. Like, every year, white people add a hundred years to how long ago slavery was. Yeah. I've heard educated white people say slavery was 400 years ago. <laughs> no, it very wasn't. It was 140 years ago. That's two 70-year-old uh -huh. ladies living and dying back to back. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's and in some countries, uh, it's like South Africa, it's took you even longer than that for it to sink in that it was wrong and there's some places where there is still human slavery today that's how recently <laughs> ladies living and dying back to back <laughs> that's how recently right. you could buy a guy that's it and it's not like slavery ended and then everything has been amazing <laughs> like it just oh, I'm glad that's over oh yeah it just ended like a clean <laughs> where you don't have to wipe, just boom. And then it's just been parades and presents ever since. You gotta, you gotta remember that if you meet a black person, they have gray hair, they remember a time they weren't allowed to use a certain toilet. So give them a little, you know, time to be cranky. And by the way, white people have our own thing that we, yeah. stuff that we went sure, through. Sure, sure. That, that hurt us that we have to cope with. Like when they took our slaves away, that was really Oh, hard. Jesus. And we're still, so it's pretty easy. Oh, Jesus. He did. They did say jokes that aren't for the faint-hearted, right? Uh, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, this was, this was hilarious. He is, uh, he's, he's one of my, uh, favorite comedians. 
um, just because he's blunt like that, and he doesn't give a two shits what he says. <laughs> But yeah, this was great. Let me know what you guys thought about this in the comments. Let me know who I need to look for next and what I need to look for next. And I will get right on that. Um, that is just about going to do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this with me. And I hope to see you on the next one. I love you guys. Peace.